Hello everybody and welcome to Hampton Court Palace, one of the most haunted places in all of England. There are many things that happened here during the time of ancient times. Queens being beheaded, kings causing crimes, everything you can imagine happened here. And there are ghosts who are trapped here. And we can hear them if we listen close enough. The history drowning in this place is like a loop of time. These ghosts can never be freed and they can never go anywhere other than here. So ladies and gentlemen, follow me this way for the tour is just beginning. In these glorious halls of Hampton Court Palace, there is a ghost that lives right down this hallway. The tale is of the Screaming Queen. Henry VIII's fifth wife, Catherine Howard was as wild as Jane Seymour was mild. Having a wild wife like that must have been very hard to obtain. But Catherine's ghost is far more vocal and has far more sightings regularly than any other ghost that is here. All the other ghosts fade in comparison to her. Catherine was beheaded at the Tower of London in 1542, and she was only aged 19. She was beheaded for adultery and treason, and it is claimed that after she was arrested at Hampton Court, the terrified teenager broke free of her guards and she ran down this very corridor trying to get to Henry himself pleading and begging for her not to be beheaded of the cautious crimes that she had been accused of before she could get to the king the guards caught up with her and took her into her room until the day came where she was beheaded. It has been said that ever since that day, her ghost still runs down this hallway, screaming for Henry not to behead her, to let her live, to let her not taste the bitter edge of the Beheadman's guillotine. Obviously, due to history, she failed. And if you come here and listen closely enough near 12 o'clock at night, you can hear her screams ever so vividly coming down these hallways praying for a life that she never, ever would ever have again. But tell me, how would you act on your last day? Would you do what she did and run to plead for your life? Or would you accept the fate ahead of you and go quietly into that long, cold, 